I'm Mira. Welcome to Flow with Mira. This is a mini ball workout. I've designed this class to add variation and challenge your Pilates practice. The ball is excellent at providing feedback, helping you to experience a deeper connection in your practice. If you're looking for more classes like this, I've created a 14 days Pilates ball program. Click the link to sign up. So let's get started. We're going to start the class lying on our back. We're going to place the ball in between the thighs, above the knee bone. Parallel position feet, knees are pointing up to the sky, heels in line with the sitting bone, gently squeeze the ball so you can activate the inner thighs, arms long by the side, take an in breath. Exhale, we're going to do some pelvic curl here, so we're going to draw the abdominal here, imprinting the lower back, curling the tail up, and then continue rolling the pelvis up the spine up to our bridging position here. Press the arms a little bit more, extend the back off the floor, inhale. Exhale, we roll down, articulating the spine all the way down, back to a start position in breath. Exhale, gently squeeze the ball here to activate the inner thigh. Then we're going to curl the spine up, reaching the pelvis towards the knees, reaching the knees over the feet here. Inhale. Exhale, we roll down, articulating, imprinting. Try not to miss any vertebra as you go up and down. In breath. Exhale. Rolling up, rolling up, pressing down with the arms. See if we can get a little bit more extension in the pelvis here, in the hip joint, in breath. Exhale, can we lengthen the head away from the shoulder as we roll the spine down? Again, your inner thighs are active, so gently squeeze the ball. One more time, and we're going to stay at the top. Exhale, we roll up again. Deep curl, pressing up, pressing up, pressing up. And we stay. Now here, as we breathe up, I'd like you to squeeze the ball a little bit more, a little harder, and release. And again, a little harder, and release. And maintain the heart of the pelvis as you squeeze the ball. Give me five more here. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold there, and we exhale, we roll back down. Excellent, now we're gonna come up again in breath. Exhale, we roll up, right up to the bridging area, and we stay. Again, gently squeeze the ball here and transfer your weight towards the left foot. And lift the left pelvis a little, side, a little bit higher, and then extend the right knee, and the foot comes off and stay there for five, four, three, two, one. Take the foot down, reestablish a pelvis position and gently squeeze the ball again. Transfer your weight to the right foot, lift the right hip up a little higher, extend the left leg out. Stay five, four, three, two, one. Take the foot down. Readjust the pelvis one more time, squeezing the ball, left foot anchored, extend the right leg, squeeze, five, four, three, two, one, leg comes down, over to the right side, please press the right foot down, lift the right hip up, extend the left leg, and stay, five, four, three, two, one, Take the foot down, in breath, exhale, let's roll back to the floor. Excellent work. Okay, we are going to lift the heels up and tip the toe here, secure the center, really draw into us the spine and then float the legs up. Squeezing the heels together here, squeezing the ball, and then open the arms up to a T position, spine twist supine, rotate from the waist to me, please, as we inhale. Exhale, back to center. Over to you as we inhale. And exhale, to center. Keeping the shoulders anchored to the floor as we rotate. Exhale, and allow the legs to travel together as one unit. And exhale, although it's nice to feel stretchier, but what we're looking here, a control. 
control of the obliques muscle as we rotate and over to you. Exhale, squeeze the ball gently as we come back. Let's do one more each side, over to me. Exhale, we return. Last one to you. And exhale, we come back. Excellent. Grab the ball in your hands, squeeze the legs together here. Take the arms overhead, ready for our hundreds prep. We breathe in, we breathe out, lift up. And then the ball will just gently rest onto your shins. Inhale, lift the arms and return our spine down. Again, arms up, head lift, chest lift. Inhale, lift the arms and return down. Again, exhale, gently pressing against your shin bone and lift the arms and return. Last time, we're going to stay up there. Exhale, we press or lift up, gently press down. And here, I want you to roll up a little higher and the bone will roll towards your ankle bone and slide release. So little pulses. Exhale, lift and release. Exhale, lift. And keep the pelvis grounded on the floor, meaning we are not curling the bottom up. Exhale. So lift the upper chest higher. Roll the ball away. And roll the ball away. Roll the ball away. Three more. Two. Last. We stay. Grab the ball. Hold. Lower one foot down. Leg changes. And we exhale. We exhale. We exhale. Lift a little higher. Exhale. Two more sets. Last set here. Both legs are up. Arms up to the sky. And return the head and the arms down. We carefully lower one foot down. And second leg down. Stretch the legs long on the floor. Ready for our roll up. So squeeze the thighs together. Squeeze your feet together. Take the arms up as we inhale. Curl up forward. And then pull into your center. And come up and over into our C curve here. I want to see your head and your neck lengthening out of your shoulder here. Pull back in the abdominals. And we roll back. Get the sacrum down onto the floor. Lower back down onto the floor. And and then take the arms overhead. Again, inhale, lift. Exhale. Up and over. Forward, forward, forward. Inhale, lifting high. Exhale. We roll back, back, back. And take the arms overhead. One more time. Inhale, chest lift. Pull back in the abdominal as we come up into our C curve here. Inhale, we grow tall a little higher, but honoring the C curve here. Exhale, we roll back, roll back, roll back, and take the arms overhead. We bring the feet in, so bending the knee one and two. Legs up the tabletop. Secure the center and the second leg up. We are going to do our hundred. So we're going to lift the head and the chest up. Grab the ball between the inner ankle bone here or just above them. Arms long by the side. Shoot the legs forward. Squeezing the ball here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. We'll lift a little higher. Now here, as we pump... I like you to squeeze the ball. So think about the ball giving you feedback to draw deeper into your pelvic floor, deeper into lower abdominals, middle abdominals, so your upper abdominal can work hard and come up a little bit more. And squeeze in the ball. Your inner thighs are working here. And reach your toes away. Three more sets. Two more. Last set. We hold, we drag the knees, drag the knees, drag the knees, grab your shin, and then bend the elbow, curl up a little higher, your feet will lower, and rock up. Brilliant. All right, now let's time to put the ball in between the ankle and the thigh. So here, we're going to float the feet off, rolling like a ball here. Elbows are nice and wide out to the side. Now pressing the ball here and then maintain that run back as we roll back. 
curl and I'm pressing into the ball as we come up. I can inhale, so we're not going to let our feet fling away. We are trying to keep the ball in between the thigh and the ankle at all time. In breath, exhale, up and over, which means we need to use our abdominal muscle to come up and then maintain the curve to lift the bottom up and Two more times here, in breath, press down in the ball as you come up. Last one, in breath, press down as we come up and release. All right, grab the ball from the underneath side, stretch the legs long for our spine stretch. The heels are approximately about shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit wider if you need to. Dorsiflex the feet, lifting tall with the spine, bend the knees if you need to, otherwise, Legs straight, back straight, arms forward. Let's take the ball down the floor. Here. All right. So gently press the ball so we can activate the spine and lift tall here. We breathe out. We roll down. And then we're going to roll the ball away as we roll forward. And then hinge a little bit more as we inhale. Exhale. We roll back upward and come up to a tall sitting position. Exhale, we roll down and lean forward at the end. Exhale, we roll back up and we lift upright. Again, exhale, we roll forward, lengthening, lengthening, lengthening in breath. Exhale, we roll up. We're going to grow tall, taller, tallest. One more time. Exhale, we roll down and reach the ball away as we reach the pelvis backward. And exhale, we roll back up and we're left. Grab the ball in front of you like so. Again, the spine is still nice and lifted here. Now we're going to rotate towards me to the right and then come back to center. Over to the other side and come back to center. And we twist and and we twist, and let's do one more each side. We twist, center, last one, we twist, and we're going to add some rolling, we twist. We lower the ball on the outside of the leg here, and we're gonna reach long, long back, and roll back up, grab the ball, and center. Over to the other side, Take the ball down. We're going to reach forward here. Try to maintain the back nice and long. And we roll back up again. Take the arms. Center. Again, twist. Ball down. Roll away. And roll back up. Center. Last one. Twist. And down. We're going to roll forward. Back is nice and long here. Roll it up. Come back up and center and let that go. We bend the knees, take the arms forward, ball forward. And then we're going to curl back or roll down all the way to the floor and then place the ball underneath the pelvis. So go ahead and lift the pelvis up. So the ball will be sort of at the back of the pelvis, obviously, and towards the top of the pelvis, towards the lower spine here. So I'd like you to have your pelvis in somewhat a, a neutral position, nothing comfortable, and not being tucked up here. Okay, we'll take the arms long by the side, and we're going to balance on the ball. We're gonna breathe out, float one leg up to tabletop, right, heavy on the ball. We're gonna set the pelvis down here, and then second leg up, Prepare abdominal, keep the pressure inward. And then let's go ahead, extend the legs straight up to the sky and externally rotate the legs. So your toes are gonna to point out to the side. We are gonna do our vertical frog here. We're gonna dorsiflex the feet and we're gonna inhale, bending the knees. Exhale, reaching up. Inhale, exhale. So we imagine we have an elastic band connecting from the tailbone to the heels. And we're going to de-stretch the band as we go down. And we're going to stretch the band vertically up. Inhale, we fall from the hip, 
and then the knees will follow. Exhale, stretch away vertically. Last one. Exhale, reach out. We stay pointing feet. Open the legs out to the side. Exhale, bring them together. Again, your legs are still in external rotation. Together. Maintain that stability on the ball. Exhale. Inhale, we open. Exhale, we close. Inhale, we open. Exhale. And two more here. Use the inner thighs to bring the legs back in and deflate the abdominals so we have a stable pelvis and stay. Go back to parallel legs position. One leg down. Let's say the left one goes down, the right leg goes up. So our scissors, double breath. Back to the center and the other way. And center. Equal distance from the midline as we open. Exhale. And center. And think about the leg coming to you more than the leg going away from you. And one more each side. Last one. Helicopter comes next. So right leg to your left leg away. We're going to external rotate the legs open to the side. Clockwise and anti-clockwise. Back to the center, parallel. And we'll go the same direction. And right leg to you, rotate out. And then back to parallel, back to center. Again, in breath and exhale. Inhale and rotate. Secure your center. In breath, last one. Otherwise, it's going to get way too wobbly for you to stay up there. And center, let's reverse. Left to your right leg away. We open. And center. Again, in breath. Excellently rotate. And parallel. In breath. Excellently rotate. And parallel. And in breath. Let's do one more time here. In breath. Rotate out and back to center. We bend the knee, lower your right foot down, extend the leg down on the floor and grab the shin or the knee on the left side, compress the left thigh bone to your chest and reach the right leg away. You may also dorsiflex the right leg and enjoy the stretch here. Think about compressing your abdominal towards the lower spine to get a greater stretch in the front of the right hip. We breathe in. Exhale. One more breathe in. And we bring the leg in, the right foot in. Lower the left leg down. We switch. Bring the right leg up. Grab the leg. Extend the left leg away. Dorsiflex. And then compress the abdominal in. And we breathe in, exhale, and we breathe in, exhale, last one here, and we bring the left leg in, right leg down, release the ball from the underneath side here, and then turn your body facing me here, I like you to bring the ball in between the inner ankle bone, or just above them. And extend the bottom arm long, ready for our side lift here. So legs are long together, top hand in front of you here, lifting the underneath waistline. And when you're ready, squeezing the ball in and we'll lift. And we'll lower. Again, we'll lift. And lower. Squeeze the ball, we'll lift. And lower. And lower. Three more. Two, last, well done. All right, we bend the knee, grab the ball, place the ball this time underneath the below the armpit, somewhere around your rib cage there, and separate the legs. So take the top leg behind you and the bottom leg in front of you. So like a crisscross, like a scissors leg, more like it. Now here, 
we have the top arm long here and release the head down here. Now from here, we're going to do some side sit up. So we're focusing on closing or shortening the top waistline, lifting up, inhale, lengthening away. Exhale, lift, in breath down. Exhale, lift, in breath down. Three more. And down. Two. And down. Last one. Lift. Hold that for three. Two. One. And release. Top arm goes over. Grab the wrist. Stretch the side. And let's come up. Bend the knees. Help yourself up. Let's go over to the other side. We start with the ball between the inner ankle bone. And go ahead and lie on your side for our side lift. Here we go. Squeeze in the ball here and we'll lift. And lower. And lift. And lower. Again, lift. You can also lift the top arm here and see if you can balance. Well done. And three more. Two. Last. And release. All right, bend the knees, grab the ball, transfer the ball underneath the armpit. Open the legs to a scissors position, top leg behind you, bottom leg in front of you. Top arms long by the side, and then we're going to shorten the waistline above here. We're going to lift up the underneath side and lower. Again, lift. Inhale, lower. And lift. Inhale, lower. Three more. And lower. Two. Last one, we stay. Up. We hold that for three, two, one. And we lower down. Top arm over. Grab the wrist and stretch away there. And release. Okay, let's go into our front here. I like you to place a ball just underneath the ladies or just underneath the breastbone here. Elbows are out to the side. Wide elbows. Legs are long. We are going to do our single leg kick here. So I like you to press down in your forearm, lift up the abdominal so we don't sway down in the lower back. So pick up the abdominal here and extend the legs off the floor, meaning the thigh bone comes off the floor here. And we go right leg, left, inhale, 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 and and I like you to not sink into the ball. The ball is going to give you feedback to extend off the ball and stay light on the ball here. Two more sets, and. Last set. And extend both legs straight off the floor and release that. Grab the ball from underneath the chest. Place the ball between the ankle bone, or just above the ankle bone. Now I'd like you to extend the legs behind you. Interlace the hands as small of the back. Ready for our double leg kick here. Drop the elbows down to the side. And we go. Exhale. Kicking one, two, three. Inhale. Stretch the legs. Lift the back. Arms long behind you. Head over to the other side. We exhale. Inhale. We reach. Lift and lift. Other way. Exhale. Inhale. Reach. Lift. Lift. And change. Inhale, lift, reach, reach, and change. And reach, and change, and reach. Last set. And reach. Last one. And reach, lift, lift. Well done, and come back down. Forearm on the side of the shoulders, push the floor away, round the back, and sit the pelvis onto the heels or onto the ball. 
arms are reaching in front of you in breath exhale one more in breath exhale and go ahead and roll ourselves up grab the ball from underneath you for our teaser this is the last one for this class i promise so we have our back nice and tall legs are together we are going to do single leg teaser one so half the knees quite large and a large angle here arms upward ball in front of you extend the right leg away left now here we're going to roll the ball down as we roll away from the thighs take the arms overhead inhale we lift the head and the chest up roll the ball up flatten the back we extend the back take your arms up ball down roll the spine away from the legs arms overhead inhale we lift the head and the chest up roll the ball up and then extend the back pick up the ball one more we roll down and arms overhead lifting up rolling up lift arms up leg up the other leg up that is the other one comes down <laughs> arm down roll the spine away from the legs arms overhead inhale lifting up roll the ball up extend arm up and down pull back pull back pull back arms overhead inhale we lift roll the ball up extend arm up last one here we roll away arm overhead inhale we lift up lift up lift up arm up both legs are up we stay there four five four three two one bend the knee open the legs arms down bow down and roll ourselves forward and just stretch out inhale exhale last one inhale exhale and roll ourselves up well done thank you for doing the class with me you were awesome if you enjoyed the class please do come and visit my membership i've created 14 days pilates ball program click the link and signed up and i hope to see you in my membership have a lovely lovely day well done on completing this class your star i'm mira and i'm here to help you to love look and feel your absolute best through pilates if you enjoyed this video, you will love my free 6-day intermediate challenge. Click the first link in the comments and join us in getting fit, strong and feel energized with a calendar of new intermediate Pilates videos. This 6-day challenge is taken from my 28 days intermediate Pilates program. If you would like to join the full 28 days, you'll find a link to my Flow with Mirror online membership in the description. See you in the next class.